How's it going, people? I'm doing well. Took a little break between videos and got my mug frosted up. So let's put some beer in it. And then put some beer in me. Pouring too fast. Uh, okay. Section 57 of Doctrine and Covenants. Revelation. Given through Joseph Smith the Prophet in Zion, Jackson County, Missouri. July, 1831. In compliance with the Lord's command, the elders had journeyed from Kirkland to Missouri with many varied experiences and some opposition, no doubt. In contemplating the degraded state of the Lamanites, that being the Aboriginal Americans, <laughs> the Indians, as we European descended folks like to call them. Uh, and the lack of civilization, refinement, and religion among the people generally. Actually, the Native Americans were very religious. They just weren't your kind of religious. <laughs> Nowadays, they're pretty much your kind of religious most of the time. Which is whatever. I, mean, I don't care. All right. The prophet exclaimed in yearning prayer for the Lamanites. When will the wilderness blossom as a rose. <laughs> when will Zion be built up in her glory? And where will thy temple stand? Salt Lake City. Not Missouri at all. <laughs> uh, unto which all nations shall come in the last days. See History of the Church, Volume 1, page 189. I'm going to have to check this book out. It's on the list. The land of pointed and consecrated. The land of promise. The place for the city of Zion. The center place specified. The saints directed to purchase land, commanded to make preparation for others who will come, hopefully with wheelbarrows full of money. One, hearken, O ye elders of my church. Saith the Lord your God, who have assembled yourselves together according to my commandments in this land, which is the land of Missouri, which is the land which I have appointed and consecrated for the gathering of the saints. Two. Wherefore, this is the land of promise and the place for the city of Zion. Three. And thus saith the Lord your God. If you will receive wisdom, here is wisdom. Behold, the place which is now called Independence is the center place and a spot 
for the temple is lying westward upon the lot which is not far from the courthouse. Huh. So now we know where it is. Or it should have been. For, wherefore, it is wisdom that the land should be purchased by the saints with their money, no doubt. And also every track lying westward, even unto the line running directly between Jew and Gentile. I didn't know there was one in America at that time. I mean, an actual line between them? Honestly, I couldn't tell one from another unless they're wearing their uniforms. <laughs> people are just people to me. I don't really know the shit like that. I try not to. Five. And also, every tract bordering by the prairies, inasmuch as my disciples have enabled to buy lands, behold, it is wisdom that they may obtain it for an everlasting inheritance. They can visit. Six. And let my servant Sidney Gilbert stand in the office to which I have appointed him to receive monies, to be an agent unto the church, to buy land in all the regions round about, inasmuch as as can be done in righteousness, <coughs> and as wisdom shall direct. Seven. And let my servant Edward Partridge, Eddie Baby, stand in the office to which I have appointed him. No change there, I guess. And divide unto the saints their inheritance, even as I have commanded, and also those whom he has appointed to assist him. Eight. And again, verily, I say unto you, let my servant, Sidney Gilbert, plant himself in this place and establish a store. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, those the, the people that had the mercantile trading posts back in the gold rush, they're the ones who got rich. <laughs> yeah, your thousand dollar pickaxe. Spark. All right. Yeah, establish a store that he may sell goods without fraud. At least according to his definition of that. Yeah. That he may obtain money to buy lands for the good of the saints. The group needs you. They need your money. And that he may obtain whatsoever things the disciples may need to plant them in our, their inheritance. Nine. And also let my servant Sidney Gilbert obtain a license. Behold, here is wisdom, and whoso readeth it, let him understand. We can always hope. Uh, that he may send goods also unto the people, even by whom he will, as clerks, employed in his service. Uh, ten. 
and thus provide for my saints, that my gospel may be preached, and more importantly, printed, <laughs> unto those who sit in darkness and in the region and shadow of death. You'll be fine if you have a copy of this handy. <laughs> 11. And again, verily, I say unto you, let my servant William W. Phelps be planted in this place and be established as a printer under the church. All right, they got the printing covered. <coughs> 12. And lo, if the world receive his writings, behold, here is wisdom. <laughs> Let him obtain whatsoever he can obtain in righteousness for the good of the saints, the group. My servant Oliver Cowdery assist him even as I have commanded. In whatsoever place I shall appoint him to copy and to correct and select that all things may be right before me as it shall be proved by the Spirit through him. And yet, it still came out like this. And like the other one over there. Alright. Yeah, bad job there, uh, Ollie. <laughs> Good thing you're family. <laughs> Fourteen. And thus, let those of whom I have spoken be planted in the land of Zion as speedily as can be with their families to do those things even as I have spoken. 15. And now, concerning the gathering, let the bishop and the agent make preparations for those families which have been commanded to come to this land as soon as possible and plant them in their inheritance. 16. And unto the residue of both elders and members further direction shall be given hereafter. Even so. Amen. And that's it for 57 and it's um, about all I can stand. I think I'm done for tonight. I should do another one. I got another beer sitting here. I did. I'm taking a break though. Probably not doing another video. Knowing me, I just probably probably will. Just to drink that beer. <laughs> Let me know if you learned something. I await <laughs> your wisdom. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. And stay tuned for 58 whenever I do it. Definitely taking a break though. Bye. <laughs>